What's up guys, Lucas here. And today I'm super excited to be presenting all the possible ways to increase stomach acid. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas. I'm the founder of Ergogenic Health. And my mission is to give you guys incredibly cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So what I've done is I've prepared a presentation that outlines the key benefits of increasing stomach acid and various strategies to do so. Um, so before I get into this presentation, I really want to emphasize this disclaimer that this video is purely for informational purposes only. Please consult your healthcare professional before making any changes to your lifestyle or routine. All right, so stomach acid 101. Now, stomach acid, aka hydrochloric acid, is essential for proper digestion. Now, what's key is that stomach acid actually declines with age and is part of the reason why as we age, um, we tend to lose our appetite and it's difficult to actually break down food and absorb our nutrients. So when stomach acid is actually low or um, subpar, we run into issues such as small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, acid reflux, paradoxically. Um, and the biggest one that I think is the most important point is that we run into nutrient deficiencies. Um, so that's a, that's a really key point. Without sufficient stomach acid, you cannot break down and absorb the nutrients, vitamins, and minerals from your foods, specifically iron, magnesium, and B12. Now, the next point is that stomach acid is essential to protect you from harmful pathogens and invaders. Um, and it does this through destroying harmful microorganisms from uh, well found in our foods. So here are some of the consequences of low stomach acid. Um, so some of the symptoms as well. So we get stomach bloating, nausea when taking supplements, burping, upset stomach, burning, flatulence, diarrhea, um, weak or cracked fingernails, dilated capillaries in cheeks and nose, post-adolescent acne, iron deficiency, as I mentioned previously, other mineral deficiencies, chronic intestinal infections and undigested food in our stool. So you can see that stomach acid is there for a reason. Um, and there are many factors that actually inhibit stomach acid production. For example, um, various antibiotics and various medications such as proton pump inhibitors and, and ironically, reflux medications. Um, so what I'm gonna present is a range of strategies and specifically supplements and compounds to increase stomach acid. So the very first one is coffee. Now, what's key is that not only does normal coffee help to increase stomach acid, but also decaffeinated coffee as well. Now, firstly, the first component is that caffeine it's in and of itself induces or causes gastric acid secretion. But also there are other bitter components found within coffee and decaffeinated coffee that would likely also target various bitter taste receptors on the back of your tongue that will induce and cause stomach acid release. So I personally use decaffeinated coffee first thing in the morning to um, help prime my body for um, a meal. Um, but keep in mind that uh, Coffee and decaffeinated coffee can also block iron absorption. So keep a look out for that. The next stomach acid booster is the fat burner and nootropic forscolin. Um, forscolin increases thyroid function. It increases dopamine production. It enhances fat loss, but it also can stimulate stomach acid production. Um, this is very evident for when you supplement with forscolin. And by the way, uh, a lot of these compounds that I mentioned, you'll see links to in the video description if you want to know where to purchase um, some of these compounds and supplements. So forscolin is a, is a very uh, viable strategy to help boost stomach acid production. 
The next one we have is bitter greens. Now this is going by the same principle as caffeine, uh, but bitter greens such as the one on the left, arugula or rocket, before your meals is a great strategy to increase stomach acid production and prime the body for a meal and, and, and digestion. Um, so that's one awesome strategy there. Next up, we have salt, which is sodium chloride. Now, bear in mind that gastric acid is hydrochloric acid and salt is sodium hydrochloride. So we are help we are helping the body create the, the um, hydrochloric acid with the chloride component of sodium and salt. So um, this is one of the reasons why a low sodium diet, a low salt diet is an issue. And for those that struggle with um, digestion by bumping up their salt intake, they often find that they can digest food a lot better. The next one is one of my favorite herbs, uh, gentian root, also known as gentiana lutea. Now, I've had a lot of experience and I've researched this herb a lot over the years, um, but this one in particular is so effective at increasing stomach acid that even without swallowing the tea and just putting it on the back of like put it, swishing it in your mouth and putting it at the back of your tongue and then letting it sit there for a bit and then spitting it back out will still cause stomach acid release because you're stimulating the bitter receptors at the back of the tongue. So that's a really unique herb um, that does stimulate appetite and uh, also stimulate um, gastric acid production. The next one we have is L-histidine. Now L-histidine is an amino acid. It's actually an essential amino acid. I've spoken about this in my uh, nootropics masterclass. Um, but L-histidine basically in supplementation form will prime gastric acid production and it's through its ability to stimulate histamine release because histamine plays a crucial role in stomach acid um, production. So that's a key point to note there. Uh, and finally, we have artichoke extract. Uh, artichoke extract is a very bitter herb um, and... It also increases bile production, which also supports stomach acid production through a different pathway. Um, and I've spoken about the importance of bile in my Tudka video. So if you haven't already checked that out, um, go go and watch my video on Tudka, T-U-D-C-A. Um, so artichoke extract can be used as a tea form. Um, can be You can actually just actually buy artichoke extract in supplement form. Um, and that has been shown to help with gastric acid and digestion, bloating, flatulence. It's one of my go-tos, um, particularly for its other secondary benefits, which is PDE4 inhibition. So guys, that pretty much wraps up today's uh, video. If you've enjoyed the video, please like the video, subscribe, please help share it around. Um, and if you want to learn more about optimizing human performance and your body, check out my website, ergogenic.health, my health courses, my free newsletter, my podcast, and my Instagram, which you'll see all these links to in the video description below. So guys, thanks for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.